Okay, so uh, responding to their claims here, uh, I haven't heard much of how you would plan to uh, implement this policy in our government, uh, but if it were to be implemented, the research facilities that are doing this research uh, would very likely move overseas, uh, which would circumvent the entirety, the entire uh, intended effect of this policy. Uh, aside from that, uh, in result, in, uh, to respond to the cruelty that is being given to these animals, uh, a, in understanding animal research, uh, a website, uh, the 2014 statistics showed that over 75% of the studies done were either sub-threshold or mild studies. Examples might include uh, breeding of genetically altered animals or short-term isolation or taking a blood sample. Um, and by genetically altered, that means uh, very likely the, introduce, the introduction of a vaccine or uh, something like that. Um, so, uh, mm -hmm. one woman's experience, she went into a uh, animal research clinic, and she was, uh, she says, I was curious but reluctant particularly to see the dogs. I w it was so hard to think of them uh, in that environment, but they were bright-eyed and pleased to see us. They were kept in a different building from the rats, and rabbits, and mice, so the barking didn't disturb them. Uh, the animals were behind striking glass, not unlike you see in a pet shop. Everything was clean, and they all seemed content. Uh, as for the alternatives, um, so speaking of speaking of research.com, uh, a did an article on these. Uh, the reasons for this are fairly straightforward. Uh, drug might work fine in a test tube, but how will it work in a body? A test tube has no blood circulatory system, no liver, no brain, no nervous system. It can't feel pain or become pregnant. We just don't know how it would work in a real body. Uh, the alternatives to animal testing could be useful, yes, but we need to be able to see how this would affect a live body. Um, so the uh, animal testing has given us many, many uh, things that we take for granted nowadays. Uh, animal research saves lives, uh, an article from The Guardian. Uh, so antibiotics, antibiotics, anesthetics, organ transplants, and insulin for diabetes are just some of the breakthroughs that have depended on animal research. The polio vaccine alone saved millions of lives, and the Heroceptin was not only developed and tested in mice, but it actually comes from mice. This modern medicine can save the lives of women with breast cancer. Um, so not only does animal research help us humans, but uh, with uh, Trish, I'm not going to pronounce that. Uh, Trish, in an article, Animal Research, How It Benefits Both Humans and Animals uh, from the California Vet uh, Veterinary Medical Association says that without animal research, millions of dogs, cats, birds, and farm animals would be dead from more than 200 diseases, including anthrax, distemper, rabies, feline leukemia, and canine parvo virus. Uh, according to Americans uh, for Medical Progress, a nonprofit group that, trans that supports responsible and humane use of animals in biomedical research. Uh, today, these, di these diseases are largely preventable thanks to vaccines and treatments <coughs> developed in animal research. Uh, so, if we did completely ban the use of animal research in testing, in all testing, we would have to find another way to as accurately as we can test these vaccines and drugs. Um, since computer-generated solutions are not going to be as effective as we need them to be, we would have to be testing them in live humans, which I think everyone can agree would be more immoral than testing on animals. Um, yeah, that's... <laughs>